Hey everyone, Starlight Plurus, and I'm doing a back to school tutorial using all Wet n Wild products, or mostly Wet n Wild products, but I'll go ahead and begin. This is what the eyeshadow color looks like. It was actually requested that I do a brighter color because I do wear a lot of neutral colors, and I actually did wear this to um, work, uh, but I usually wear more brighter colors on Fridays. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin with um, the eyeshadow palettes that I'm using. I wanted to stick with everything being from the permanent line of Wet n Wild, like not using any of the limited edition stuff, so that way you could go out and find it yourself. So the palette that I'm going to be using is Pride. I'm going to be using just one color from this, and the other one I'll be using is in Comfort Zone. So right off the bat, um, Wet n Wild doesn't have an eye uh, eyelid primer, so what I did use actually is by Elf, and it's their um, their eyelid primer from the Dollar Line. So if you can find this at Target, that's what I used. So what I'm going to do is with the Pride palette, I'm going to use this green color right here and put that all over my lid, and I'm using a brush from e.l.f. as well from the dollar line. So I'm going to take that color, put that all over my lid. And just go up to the crease. I'm going to add just a little bit more because I actually want this color to be bright. Alright. Next I'm going into the Comfort Zone palette and I'm using another um, eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. It's the dollar uh, blending brush and I'm going in with this color right here on this side. It's a um, it's identified as a crease color that's what I'm going to be using it for. So I'm going to pick that up onto a fluffy blending brush and put that in the crease. So I'm going to concentrate most of it kind of out here on the outer V as well to deepen that up and bring that in. This will kind of soften the green just a little bit and make it a little bit more daytime appropriate. But, you know, if you're in high school or whatnot, you know, I think you can get away with some colored looks. It's really not, you know, it's not too bad. Just make sure to blend out the edges. Now, um, you can actually stop right there if you want to, but I actually am going to go with this other color right here. It's a um, dark brown color, and I'm going to do that to deepen up the outer V. And this color is really pigmented, so you, I just kind of tapped it in very quickly. I'm going to put it right there on the outer V. And I'm just kind of lightly touching it because this color is so pigmented. and then bring that into the crease as well. And just make sure to blend that out. And that is pretty much it with the eyeshadow colors. Again, it's optional if you want to make it a little bit more smoky by doing that and just blend everything out again. I'm wiping my brush on a towel just to try to get some of the color off so that way I can use it more for blending. But this brush is really, really good. Okay, and that's really it for the eyeshadow color. Um, you can add a highlight if you want to. I would, have, of course, suggest this one right here that's labeled Brow Bone, but I'm going to skip that. I don't always put on a highlight color. So, for eyeliner, um, you can choose to use eyeliner. You really don't have to with this because it's so bold. But I like to use eyeliner, so I'm going to use by Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Eyes Defining Marker. And uh, it's just a, a felt tip pen. It kind of reminds me of the one by Elf from the Dollar Line. So I'm going to put a very, very thin line, just really kind of like smudging it into the lashes to keep it, you know, more uh, natural looking.
All right, that's all I'm going to do. I would recommend also curling your eyelashes. I can't actually find my eyelash curler right now, but I'm going to use two different mascaras, and they are by Wet n Wild. I actually like layering these. The first one I'm using is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara, and the second one that I'm using is the Mega Length Mascara. So I'll be putting on the volume one first and then the lengthening one. Alright, and before that dries, put on the second one. And you're done with your eyeshadow look. Very quick, very simple. Um, I will link um, my everyday back to school like face tutorial that I did but also put a list because the only thing I did differently I think was concealer so I'll put that in the description box down below and um, one thing that Wet n Wild does have to is that they do have a couple of colored eyeliners if you want to put more color they have these long ones that are just a you know a regular eye eyeliner I picked up a green one but it's a little bit too frosty for this look um, I want to use something else. They also have these, these idle eyes. And I picked up a blue one to do, um, you know, eyeliner for underneath for a pop of color. And they have a green one as well, but I haven't bought that one yet. But e.l.f. actually makes these shimmering eyeliner pencils, which are great. I have used this for eyeliner underneath the eye. So if you want to add a pop of color, like you're even more color to your eyeshadow look, I would actually put just a little bit, you know, kind of on the like three-fourths of your eye on the bottom. So I'll kind of, you know, add a little bit on here so you can see how it makes um, a little bit of a difference, actually. Obviously, you know, you can see more green because there's green underneath as well. So there's like that look <laughs> and then the other look. So hopefully you can see it, but I don't know if you, if you can or not. Maybe I'll just make them even. But I love this eyeliner on the bottom. It looks so nice sometimes. So and there you go. Um, questions or comments or anything, leave them down below. And thanks again for watching. Bye.